well hey everyone welcome to the channel this is day one in our journey to uh cody wyoming so glad all of you could join us uh this summer i'm gonna be work camping at the cody koa holiday uh cody is the home to buffalo bill cody and cody is also the east entrance city for yellowstone national park and we'll be having adventures not only in cody but in yellowstone national park all summer long and while i got you guys here if you could hit that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications i really would appreciate it and we want all y'all to come along with us on our adventures and share with us all the beautiful things we're going to see and do this summer and we really would appreciate the support we're leaving our louisiana home base at or journeys lakeside rv resort in livingston louisiana and we're going to be heading north taking interstate 12 to interstate 10 to highway 190 to opelousas louisiana where i was born and raised then we're going to take i-49 northbound to bozier city and that's going to be our first stop for the day and uh well actually we're going to make a couple of stops along the way i just finished my walk around everything's locked up we'll go ahead and get in the truck and we'll get this show on the road let's go to bozier city louisiana and cody wyoming for the yellowstone summer of adventure 2024 let's go Springs, Louisiana. We just went over the Chafalaya River Bridge and this is our first stop. And this is where we always stop on our way through here headed west. And that's Billy's Boudin Cracklins uh, being Cajun. This is a taste of home that I can bring with us and have up in Wyoming. Sorry, we're right next to the highway so the road noise is going to be ridiculous. But uh, Boudin is a pretty serious thing and a big thing here in Louisiana. There are several Boudin makers and basically what Boudin is, it's like a dirty rice or a rice dressing in a sausage casing. And everyone has their favorites. Uh, mine happens to be Billy's. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside. We're gonna get a box of Boudin and maybe some cracklings for the road. Like I said, it's always good to bring a little a little bit of home with you and in louisiana we're a food culture so we're gonna bring some boudin up to wyoming with us so let's go ahead and go into billy's and uh get some stuff All right, well, shopping's done. Got my little taste of home to bring with us. I'm gonna get uh, back over to the RV. We're gonna go inside, gonna put this stuff in the refrigerator and get back on the road heading north. Well, we made it to Opelousas and uh, those rough roads, they were, the roads were still rough. Last stop, I got a taste of home to bring with us to Wyoming. This stop, I'm uh, gonna get a taste of home right now and eat right now. This place growing up, this was the spot. This is my favorite fried chicken place ever. Popeyes ain't got nothing on this place. This is the best fried chicken ever, ever, ever. Loved this place growing up. 
and it, right. it it brings me back to when i was a kid growing up here in opelousa this is the best fried chicken you can get hands down so let's go in get something to eat and have that taste at home okay we just got our food and yeah it looks incredible it, 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 like i said when i was a kid this is this was the fried chicken this is where we came when i was a kid they have two locations in opelousa the prices are really good it's cheaper than popeyes better than popeyes and you guys gotta see these biscuit let me go ahead and give y'all a little peek at what we're looking at here mashed potatoes and gravy chicken tenders dipping sauce and these biscuits i don't know i mean craziest biscuits ever it's like a combination of a biscuit and a roll i mean super soft and flaky i mean just beautiful i got chicken and some rice dressing this place about to eat this and get into this this place is just fantastic if you're passing through opelousas definitely come and eat at mama's fried chicken you will you'll thank me later trust me but i gotta eat this we're hungry and then get back on the road so let i'm getting into this spot we're leaving mama's fried chicken now and just like when i was a kid uh, it, this place does not disappoint at all and i had to thank the manager because i mean the food has not changed from the time i was a kid growing up here it's still fantastic still tastes the same and i uh, told her i was going to put her in a video and give her great reviews and tell everybody if you're passing through opelousa you got to eat at mama's fried chicken she just loved it she loved it so much she gave me a free little jar or little bottle of their seasoning which i didn't know they had seasoning so as soon as we get to wyoming i'll be i'm gonna be trying that out oh and i'm stuffed and i didn't even eat everything which is unusual for me because i'm a big old boy and i love me some fried chicken so normally there's nothing left on the plate but bones so <clears throat> we're headed back to the rv full still got a couple more hours to go before we get to our stop for the day but that's it let's get back on the road and head north everyone that's it for day one uh, we made it to our stop for the end of the day and we are going to be boondocking tonight in the Margaritaville casino parking lot we've boondocked here one other time and it was a really nice place to boondock the parking lot is well lit they have security that rides around at night and uh, this place is gonna fill up. It's already got some RVs here. There's a class A down there. And there's several truck drivers out here boondocking. And we have a, a class C right there over there. We have a class C. And there's several casinos here. I believe that's the Horseshoe, Margaritaville, uh, Bally's in Samstown and then right over there is a Bass Pro outdoors and I believe I saw a sign for a, a Boomtown Casino here too so um, this is a pretty cool place I mean if you're boondocking and you want to go inside and go gamble you can go gambling you want to go go check out the Bass Pro shop you can so I mean this is you know there's a lot to do boondocking here and casinos probably got a restaurant in it and all that too uh first day was a little bit of a rough ride the roads in louisiana are much worse than what i remember um but you know kind of got the first day jitters out towing it's been six months since i've towed the rv so i'm a little rusty and it'll get better 
in time so uh let me kind of show you our setup here kind of so you can see kind of layout i showed you some in the parking lot um here's the truck and here's our spot right here and uh, it's a really good parking lot there's no potholes or anything like that and they're doing some construction here that they weren't doing last time we were here so half the parking lot is actually a good portion of the parking lots cut off over there we were actually down there where that class a is and the view from the campsite was prettier last time and didn't have all these dirt mounds and stuff i'm not sure what they're building but it's going to wrap it for day one day two coming up we are going to be traveling from here to our first stop in texas and, we're, and that's going to be Bowie, texas and we've stayed there before so we're kind of backtracking the way we came down from steamboat so you guys want to stay tuned for that we're going to reveal a little spot where we like to stay when we're in Bowie. and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up don't forget hit that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications because this is just day one in our journey to cody wyoming where i'll be work camping at the cody koa holiday for the summer season and we'll be exploring yellowstone national park all summer long because cody is the gateway city to the east entrance of yellowstone so that's it i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna rest up and get ready for day two tomorrow and i hope all of you join us for day two so as we say in louisiana les ailes bon temps roulé let the good times roll and i'll see you next time hope all of you have safe travels out there on the road bye bye now